Hi, Tech Rabbit here. So I bought some more networking stuff. So anyway, here's a couple of network uh, Netgear on um, one gigabit switches. And I thought we'd just do the unboxing. So this is a um, this one here is the GS108. This one was the GS116, and they're unmanned switches, so very like plug and play and zero maintenance. So basically, you just have network cables and you plug them in. Well, I thought it might be fun just to have a look, see what they, what they look like. I kind of like these Netgear things. I think the um, I think the um, transducers, uh, the communication part in them is actually quite good compared to uh, other switches, other brands of switches that I've been using in practice. And I mean, okay, it does come with some kind of manuals, but. If it doesn't work and you need a manual, then there's something wrong with it. So, here we have That's the right way now to be more representative. Okay, and it has the power supply. Oh, there's several pieces of plastic. But anyway, it has the option to be able to connect it on the pads onto the bottom. And you can actually screw it to the wall also if you like. And that has one of these simple plugs. It'll be different depending on what region you are in. I mean this has some some limited caching to, to be able to handle traffic and it supports some um, quality of service. It's actually quite heavy. Yeah, of course, you can't show that on camera. But, uh, I like this net gear when they have this, like, yeah, it's a, it's a metal casing. So. Uh, and then you have actually an anti theft option, so you can actually chain it up. Oh, an on off switch, that's what. Really? Oh, so I didn't know I had one now. That's usually not the case in many cheap switches that um, you actually have to pull the power cable to, to turn it off. So anyway, that's the 108. And then, um, oh, look at that. A little bit bigger brother. And um, these I'm going to <coughs> use because I suffer from lack of ports inside. It's the same as if you're right. If you're driving an electrical car, then you wonder, are you going to get to your destination? Is there enough power in your batteries left to make it? And, um, I, I suffer the same thing when the number of free ports goes less than two in any specific location in the house. And, um, I, start think, I also start getting a lack of ports inside. Oh, the same thing, it's got some manuals, don't know what one to do with that. To have, I suppose, same wall mounting accessories. Uh, same separate power supply. Oi, shouldn't do that. Drop test it. Oh, this is heavy. Ah, I haven't saved steel, that's what. No, I kind of like that. I mean, I kind of like that. Stuff. I mean, it's, I know it's a bit ridiculous, who cares if it's on um, metal or not, but, um, you, I mean, it, when you get a switch and you connect an Ethernet cable to it and then it, it falls on the floor because the Ethernet cable is, is 
it works like a spring and pulls the whole the whole switch off the table. That's like ah, oh, that's that's just depressing. Now that you can put the pads here. So once you put the pads in, and with this weight, which you can't really show on the, on the filming them now. And also, they really made sure that these things have cooling. I mean, it's got cooling grid there, cooling grid there. Even if it hasn't got active cooling, at least there's a possibility for airflow, which is quite nice. So, you know, that was, uh, that was that. I mean, there isn't really that much one can say, one can say about this. You can, um, Functionally wise, I mean, you, you you plug in the network cable and for uh, to the to the. Um, I mean, if you're doing a home network, then you just take from the um, uh, the the router firewall you have, and then you plug in the cable there, and you plug it in here, and then you can plug in the cable here, and it goes out to your PC or uh, other support. So a relatively simple operation. Anyway, now I'm happy. I don't think I'll run out of ports. So, so as I said, a few locations in the house where I actually have the need for, for a little bit more in, um, in terms of uh, available ports. I think this will, this will do just fine. So, anyway, if you um, like this video, um, consider subscribing. Um, hit the bell icon for more. There's definitely going to be more. And um, tell others that if they're interested in networking equipment and stuff, uh, follow the channel and be posting stuff uh, as I build out the network in the, in the house. And um, yeah, see you in the next one.